Hey everyone, welcome to another video where we discuss data and tech solution topics. In this one, we're gonna provide tutorial in how to uh, scrape and store the Google search result based on different um, search queries that you may have using Python. And this part of, and this use case will be the case that let's say as a use case, um, if this is our keywords, inflation in Denmark. Uh, then this is in different pages of Google search you may find different um, items you may, you may want to store all the results and the links and some description about it or we may just want to store the result in a specific type of websites in news websites and social media so we can even specify that condition So that's the use case that we want to scrape the Google search result. Um, we go over the tutorial step by step and again everything will be available. Um, the code, the solutions, the files uh, will be available in our web blog. Um, the link for that will be available in the description. You can follow and in, the, in this video I'm going to provide a step by step guide on how to customize it and how this code essentially works. So the first step is the initial setting as always. We have a couple of packages here. The key one, the main one is the SEO from e-commerce tools. That's actually the one we use to get the, to get connected to the Google API and um, actually Google search and um, use the, and the store the result from there. The rest of them is some basic package that we use. And of course, um, we, we have a uh, set of keywords as I, um, as I showed uh, one example then uh, inflation could be one keywords but those keywords you may have a structure where these keywords come from um, those keywords and queries are actually have it from a data file from Google Sheet um, that I stored there that's why um, I connect to Google Col Collab this environment called Google Collab um, to connect to that data again uh, you may use whatever platform or the case that would be uh, useful for you this is a case that for me again once you run it uh, it's gonna run and this is one particular one that it wasn't installed in this platform so I added this line of the code so uh, this is going to install it for me and um, this is already run and uh, all good now the next step is that I want to connect and input um, and import my data which is the search keyword um, data and that's essentially this is the data that I have um, so uh, this is where the queries that are interested to get the to Google search result uh, there are some locations like Denmark Toronto Washington and um, in this location I may be looking for specific roles like chief of police mayor governor and I want to either find news or their social media or some other Google search result through this so any combination of these columns could give me a query um, item another way let's say I'm looking for a specific topic keywords like inflation immigration global warming in either of these um, different locations and of course you could have any other queries but that's how it works for this use case so um, we're gonna run it and we're gonna uh, import this in here so once you click on this you're gonna run it and you're gonna find the object that's called date data now we have the data here and we can overview what's going on that's the data that we just go over that now next step is uh, we want to create our query list so we want now to have a list an object list and this list I can have two different um, um, combination two different options one is as you saw in the data a combination of locations and the topic keywords or or a combination of location and the roles could be different use cases that uh, we look for here let's say um, and uh, this way I essentially what I do I grab the combination I look at only the unique combination and I put them as a common comma separated example and that's query list one for example Denmark inflation Denmark immigration and this is examples of the query that I have um, again whatever your keyword your use case would be you just need to have a list this like this use case so you can customize it based on your need and then you want to have a list object here and um, next step step four it's actually the main one the key one is when you want to 
uh, this is the other customization you want to have this is your list of the keywords and uh, query list and um, if you have a different object you want to change here and uh, the big for loop is go over each query, query item from the list and find the result based on the condition if you have any condition and store the result in a final data frame uh, final object so um, essentially this for loop I have TQM um, package I use this function from that package which gives me a progress of how um, essentially more how time uh, it takes and uh, what's the progress of this once you run it as you can see it gave me it took a lot of one minute just to run uh, this based on the power and platform that we have here um, the second step is uh, to the first step actually to this um, for loop is and um, what's the number of Google search um, result you want to go over this is just five for me second step in this loop is do you have do you want to specify any conditions for which you want to just look at essentially um, the search result when they contain a strings from either of these um, items through this condition so let's say I may only in this case I only look for Google search result if they contain the substring of Wikipedia Twitter LinkedIn Facebook news even if, if they if there's any news link or any other thing right um, if you want to just get everything then you want to just use this as a list here and you can get everything or just get rid of the condition here as, as I use it so the way I use the condition is through this for loop essentially I'll go over and based on um, if either of them exist um, then I grab that Google search result as opposed to grabbing everything which of course you can use this and grab everything and the rest is you can go over it I'm gonna skip through the skip through them so that's essentially uh, a store this is the use of the main package SEO you get the result and then once I have the results uh, I um, apply the condition here and I get the title and link from the conditions right and um, this is the uh, part that I'm only interested and uh, as in and I'm gonna store everything in an um, object called targets now lastly I make the targets um, I put it in a data frame and I name the columns um, and that's there you go I can review the result so after a while once you run it you're gonna get the result and that's what I have actually and in this case as you can see I call my condition I call it link category so it's different ways that you can categorize your links for you so those that are in Wikipedia or I have a news I have a couple of Wikipedia a couple of news one Facebook example that I get the title of whatever the result and the link and then once I have the link um, you may want to have a separate scraping um, uh, object project to go over information there or again that's the link of the information that I have and that's it for me in this use case and um, one use case that I had before as I said for a marketing case I was looking for a specific type of organization their CEO the governor the mayors there are some of the public officials I was looking for their social media for a specific marketing um, use case which I used uh, my um, query was essentially specific roles through different locations and community and I was looking through their social media so uh, Twitter Facebook um, Instagram those sort of um, things that you can find through and you can automate getting that data and now that um, I have the data here whatever your query list is you're gonna get something like this you have the uh, titles links and everything and how you categorize it so this is something to do about um, uh, Sweden it's a news link for Sweden inflation topic and there you go so that's one of the objects right this is how you make sense of it and lastly I'm gonna store the result in the same Google sheet uh, in a different sheet so that's again if you're interested to get the result through this way that's how I did it and that's the result essentially last step where I store the results so I have everything in the data frame and I'm gonna store it as a new sheet I just call it Google search result in the same Google sheet that I have again you may want to store it however you like and once actually I 
um, run this I get the result which is this was my keyboard and that's the result so this is a case that I specifically was looking for these categories into these keyboards and these are this is the main thing actually I was looking for these links so hope that's um, useful for you and for your use case um, again everything will be available the tutorial the links the step by step in our there is a complimentary blog um, URL as well which is available in the description the information thank you for watching see you in next video